for people more familiar with uh, Linux, other Linux distributions, well, the first thing you look for uh, when you get to the computer <coughs> or to the interface is the terminal. Linux is about the terminal. Yes, it has a beautiful GUI now with GNOME and KDE and Icebox and all of those. But when you're done looking at the eye candy, you need to get some work done. And the best way to do it, or the nicest way to do that, with the Edge Ubuntu or any other Linux distribution, is <coughs> to get to the terminal. And this is all about evangelism. So let's uh, evangelize a little bit. It's about uh, making Linux a default idea when people start thinking about education environments and how to reduce the licensing costs of some other operating systems. So back to Edge Ubuntu, where the heck is the terminal? Let's go check it out. Um, you might notice over here I've, I'm using VNC and let's go to the VNC, there it is. And Gonna scroll up a little bit. All right. So where's the terminal? Is it in system? No, don't think so. Administration? No. Screenshot? No. I can ignore all those. Plates? Mm, don't know what that is. But no. Recent documents? No. It's under applications, accessories. I really don't like my mouse. Applications, accessories terminal. There it is. And we start up the terminal. Echo. Hello world. There it is. Okay, so we have the terminal. Ladies and gentlemen, learn the terminal um, and learn Vim Tutor. That's the uh, default interface for navigating uh, text documents in uh, Linux. I don't want to overwhelm you with uh, all of the things that you can do right now. But let's just recap that. The terminal, access to the terminal, is under applications, accessories, which I have to move. I have to put that up in the toolbar. And then the terminal is right there. And it starts up. And I noticed when I went to the Edgebuntu site, edgebuntu.org, they've got this application called K-Tuberling. I have no what that, idea what that is. So since we're here at the, tu at the terminal, let's take a shot at that see if it works. K2. Now I'm going to tab. When I tab, it should finish the name of this application for me automatically. So let's tab. Yeah, it worked. So I hit the enter key. Now the application should start. I don't know what it's going to do. It doesn't like something. Warning, warning, warning. Oh. Oh, it's Mr. Potato Head. Okay. Well, let's make a potato head. Put an eyeball. Oh. It makes... It makes noises. No. Oh, it tells me what I'm doing. Okay, it gives me the mouth. Let's give some ears. Ear. Nice. Okay, so you can't hear it, but when you're putting together your uh, when you're putting together your uh, <clears throat> you're assembling your potato head here, it gives you the name of the object. So penguin, let's see. Oh, we got a penguin. Hey, look at that. Um, and we'll give him a hat, and we'll give him glasses. Spectacles. Oh, spectacles is what they called it. Spectacles. Uh, spectacles, even though it says glasses here. Uh, let's see, speech, it's in English. Settings, playground, aquarium. Aquarium? They have fish's eyes. Oh, look at that, fish. Oh, but it doesn't say fish. So anyway, that's a nice little, f I mean, this is clearly geared at uh, the very young, about K-Tuberling, let's see. Yeah, it's 
it's a little a potato game for kids. It's old, it's cute, and we'll leave it at that. So, K Tuberling, um, one more little fun thing that you can discover in Edubuntu um, via the uh, well, it may be under applications. Let's see. No. So that's one of the things right there. We just launched KTuberling from the terminal. Remember? KTuberling. Um, if I arrow up, it remembers the last command I just passed. That command or that application is not actually in here under education. Maybe it's under games. Doesn't look like it. Maybe it's under graphics. Doesn't look like it. I don't want to dig around for you know for this game or for this application, but there are hidden hidden things that are accessible uh, through the terminal. So keep that in mind and uh, learn the terminal. Really, you will become a much better, much smarter person for it. Uh, thank you for your time and remember, happy computing. Go out and make your own uh, using Demo Studio. Uh, by VNCing in, create your own demos, uh, create your own screencasts. If everyone who uses Linux makes one screencast and posts a screencast to the web, then we'll have quite an assortment of training to help other users make the transition from other operating systems. So, get out your uh, get your network put together, your XP box or whatever you use, and create your own screencast for Edubuntu or other Linux distribution. Thank you very much and happy computing.